everyone. I wanted to show you a project I've been working on and I'm hoping that I can get some advice from all you beekeepers out there. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and about a month ago I started doing a lot of research on different beehive designs. I've never had bees before so I watched a lot of YouTube videos. Thanks everyone for posting your really informative videos and also reading a lot of books and what I kind of decided on is a long hive uh, to make it easier to pull the frames out and also I have kids and I want them to be able to see what's going on inside without being scared of the bees so what I did was I had a large terrarium as you can see here and I went ahead and bought unassembled deep frames and unfortunately the frame the terrarium was about a half inch too narrow and so I had to take each frame and I used um, a uh, oh what's it called it's not my skill saw it's um cut some has a real thin blade and basically I just cut each frame this is how it looks now this is the uncut side here this is how it should look and this is how I modified one end of each side um, to make it about a half inch narrower so that I had approximately a quarter inch gap on each side um, for the bees to move through the hive and and then I've got 26 frames in there and I don't know if you can tell from the video, but I didn't, wasn't able to get them all perfectly cut. But um, there is approximately a quarter inch gap on either side of the frame. Now you can see there's a large gap underneath because the terrarium was deeper than it should be for a hive. And so I'm wondering if that's going to be okay or if I need to build a frame underneath to block that area off. I'm not quite mm -hmm. sure. Um, and then for the top, I just happen to have this siding, which has grooves. And I know it's not ideal to have them slide in to the grooves because then it's not so easy to take off, let's say, a middle plank from the top. But I think I can make it work. Um, this one, I just cut a hole for ventilation there. And then this one, I put the screen on the top and I'm going to make holes in the bottom of this jar for a feeder um, during the summer months and spring months. So um, as far as the entrance goes, I know it's traditional to have a lower entrance, a bottom entrance for the bees, but rather than cut a hole in the terrarium, my kind of thought at this point, and I'd love to hear your advice again, hopefully the lighting is okay, but I left a gap there in the top of the um, hive and what I'm planning to do is to put the whole hive into a shed we have here I'll show you the side of our house here and I'm planning to have the top edge of the hive in line with one of those windows and that way the bees can go in and out of the window and of course I'll make a little channel for them to go through um, so anyhow, I would love to hear your opinions. I I put um, foundations in ten of the frames for now, and then I'll probably add more needed. Um, it's currently February of 2018, and I get my bees in mid-April. So if you are able to make a comment again, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, anything I should maybe do to get it. Um, uh, ready for the bees and hoping they'll have a happy home in here. Oh, one other thing, I did get an insulation wrap. Um, the majority of the time it will be covered in this wrap all around the sides to keep it nice and dark for the bees. Um, and then just when we're taking taking um, a look at the bees, we'll, we'll unwrap it. So anyhow, again, I love your, love your comments. Um, so Hope to see them below. Thanks so much.